Hi guys, thank you for watching this video. Today we have quite a busy Sunday because we started the makeover of the house and it was quite unexpected actually because we wanted to start it later because we understood that all the masters, all the handymen can be busy and some of them have everything scheduled two months ahead. So we were pretty ready to wait uh, for the master. But actually the master that we are working with, he's a very experienced and a very nice person and he has a very nice portfolio, uh, is free uh, because he said that uh, right now, due to current situation in the country, it is prohibited to start huge projects. So he can work with little project like our situation, uh, which requires one or two days of work. And we started. So we started from the basic floor. And as you see, now we are redoing the walls because those walls were covered with some weird cover which is dirty and it is not beautiful at all so we are doing the smooth uh, walls and uh, right now we are going to buy the wallpaper we are going to buy the wallpaper for the bedroom because uh, we are also remaking the walls tomorrow for the bedroom now it looks like this so our master recommended us to use a very to use a beautiful type of wallpaper just to make an accent on that wall uh, to make it more interesting and more attractive so yep uh, this is the plan for today Ava shows like put you like to my mama and after the shop uh, I will go to our first house which we still renting and I will clean everything up and we will collect the rest of the things we have there, the rest of the stuff we have to pick up. And this is the plan for today, guys. Let's spend this together. Also, I will share with you guys how it went with the administration of our new school for Ava, how we had that conversation and let's spend this day together. So we are here, we reached our destination, we are in the big in the big mall and we are going to choose something nice right now. As for the color scheme, we are looking for something light um, with maybe pink and coral motifs or golden motifs will be also beautiful. Okay, now we're going to choose something. Well, we took the decision on this option. It has nice texture, so it's uh, textured. And um, we like the print. It's not aggressive, it's not intense, but still it will add some color to our bedroom. And as we are here, we are also going to watch the lamps because we need to change the lamps everywhere and we just want to see like how, how the lamps must look like, like this. And 
And another interesting fact about the Netherlands, you can buy fish in this type of shops where you can buy everything for your house. And the second fact that really surprised us about all the shops and services is the fact that those services like for example, car fixing uh, services or this building shops, right? The shops with uh, the furniture, with uh, the building material, are located like clusters all together. And I will explain why it was surprising. It was surprising for us because basically you gather all the competition together. And from the marketing point of view, it is strange because uh, if you have a better location, of course, you can attract more clients. But I think this is the reason why the Netherlands try to avoid this factor for services like car wash, for example, or car, I don't know, car repairment or furniture uh, shops not to compete because of the location, because the location really determines the price sometimes, guys. Just compare the shops in the very center of any historical center like Amsterdam, or Paris or any or Moscow, right? And some suburban shops where you can buy basically the same, but you pay a lot for the price and for the, um, for the stream of clients you have. And yes, uh, this, is the, <laughs> this is the outcomes of my studies. And uh, as you see, guys, I'm in our previous house. I came here to clean a little bit and to um, just uh, to clean the mess after the relocation because it's always something there, something here, some paper and stuff. And I will clean the cupboards. I will clean the kitchen today. Also, I will clean the bathroom and the toilets. And this is it for today. Later, Dima will come to clean the windows. And um, we will be ready to give this house out as we still have uh, one week here and um, we have something to do. So, yeah, um, this is quite a lot. I mean, just a lot of actions, um, just a lot of activities connected to the houses, but it's the relocation time. It's a little bit tough, uh, meaning that there are a lot to do now, but we hope that when we give out this house and um, we will be settling in our own house, it will be uh some more relaxing moments will come and we will be not in such a hurry uh, to do all this stuff why did we even collect that useful thing you see the gadget <laughs> to scratch all those little tiny stickers like this and they go off fast and easy boom or even like this and that's it also the chewing gum if you guys have the issues with the chewing gum i really recommend this gadget it saves me today because I don't know how I would clean all this crazy surface with those stickers after Olivia and Ava. And the final thing for today that I want to share with you guys, the first one is that I'm filming in this setup for the last time because we are giving out this house and it was the exact setup I was filming previously. And the thing that I want to share is that we had a talk with we had the conversation with the manager of Ava school and we were really pleased as parents to have it because the manager was really interested in how our daughter behaves in class, in stressful situation, how does she react for first intake when she just starts uh, the school program, when she's in a new environment with new people. And uh, 
she also asked about her personality is she more active or is she a more shy lady and actually she is a very active girl who can be very shy at the beginning but then she um she becomes herself and uh, we were also pleased to hear that the school supports the peer education system when the when the children learn from each other because there is a really multicultural uh, environment and um, we're looking forward to join this new school we'll see how it will be going on so it will be right around one month before that and i will tell you guys when i'm sharing this information because Actually, I have a lot of questions uh, from future experts, uh, future Dutch experts uh, who have also family and who have kids and who answer uh, about how the system of integration of the child begins and is it difficult or if it goes smooth because it's a huge challenge for every parent when your child starts right new life because even for us adults it can be very hard and tough at the beginning but for kids it's tougher sometimes sometimes it's easier it depends on the age it depends on the personality of a child and the crucial thing here is language, obviously. I'm very happy that our kids are already integrated like at fullest because Ava got uh, the report from the Thai Centrum that she's totally ready to continue her education in Dutch. And um, uh, she goes to the grade three and Olivia is going to Kinderpfang, she goes to preschool and she's also integrated there and also their nanny stays with them and we are really happy uh, because it will so it will be a longer road for her to come to us but yes she is really happy to continue our cooperation and we are happy that we don't have to change nanny because it will be additional stress for the family and this is everything i wanted to share with you guys today and i want to wish you all the best and i want to thank you for your nice and for your warm comments for your warm wishes and see you in the next video bye